How are we going to solve this radical equation? Find out in this video. A radical equation is an equation with one unknown in one or more of the radicals. So to solve radical equations, we must get rid first of the radical in the equation. And to do this, we must square both sides of the equation using the property. If a is equal to b, then a squared is equal to b squared. We call this one as the squaring property of equality. To better understand the process on solving radical equations, I have here some examples. So we're going to solve the following. We have number 1, the square root of x is equal to a. So gaya ng binanggit ko kanina, the first step that we need to do is to get rid of the radical symbol or yung radical sign. So paano ba natin i-eradicate yung radical sign natin? So we're going to use the squaring property of equality. So we're going to square both sides ng equation natin. So it will become uh, square root of x. We're going to raise that one sa power ng 2. And of course, we're going to raise also yung nasa right side ng equation natin. So remember, if we're going to square yung sa left side, we also square yung nasa right side. So lahat or sa both equation, kailangan natin siyang i-square. And we already discussed this one during the uh, loss of radicals that we can uh, cancel yung square root or yung radical sign with the square. So this will be canceled out and yung magitiba na lang is x. Okay, x is equal to, then we're going to raise a to the power of 2. So 8 squared, that would be equal to 64. So finally, yung final answer natin is x is equal to 64. Now you can check your work. If we're going to check this one, all we need to do is to substitute yung value ng 64. So yung sa given natin, we have square root of x is equal to 8. Then, yung nakuha natin na value ng x is 64. So, we have 64 is equal to 8. So, square root ng 64 is equal to 8. And, both equation or both sides ng equation ay equal. Therefore, yung answer natin na 64 is correct. Okay. Let's have the second example. We have the square root of x plus 8 is equal to 7. So, in this case, naka-isolate na yung uh, constant term natin. So the next thing we need to do is to get rid of the radical sign. So same pa rin yung ginawa natin sa number 1. We're going to square both sides of the equations. So raise natin yung 2 yung nasa left side. I-raise din natin ng 2 yung nasa right side. So this will be cancelled out. Yung matitiba na lang sa left side would be x plus 8. So 7 squared that is equal to 40. Nine. Then, since wala nang radical sign, we can solve now the uh, value of x. So, we have here a constant term na 8. So, we're going to transpose this one sa right side ng equation. So, we will have x is equal to 49 and positive 8 magiging negative 8. Then, finally, we have 49 minus 8 that is equal to 41. So, you can check your answer if it's correct. So, our final answer is x is equal to 41. <clears throat> now, let's have example number 3. So, we have 3 square root of x minus 4 is equal to 15. So, since my numerical coefficient yung radical sign natin, ibig sabihin merong number before the radical sign, so we need to eradicate this one first. So, how are we going to do that? So, we can divide both sides by 3. Okay, para makancel out natin yung 3. Divide natin both sides ng 3. This will be cancelled out. Yung matitira na lang sa left side would be the square root of x minus 4. And sa right side naman, we have 15 divided by 3. So that will be equal to 5. So ito na yung time na pwede natin siyang i-square both sides. Okay, square natin both sides. Then this would be cancelled out. So yung matitira is x minus 4. Sa right side naman, we have 5 squared, which is equal to 25. And, we're going to solve now for x. 
So, yung negative 4, we're going to transpose that one sa right side ng equation. So, magiging 25, then negative 4, magiging positive 4. So, simplify lang natin. So, 25 plus 4, we will have 29. So, the final answer is x is equal to 29. So, you can check that yung process na tinuro ko kanina. Okay, let's proceed to example number 4. So, we have here square root of 3x minus 2 is equal to square root of x plus 7. So, both sides ng equation ay my radical sign. Pero, same pa rin yung process na gagawin natin. So, we're going to have or we're going to get rid of the radical symbol. So, to get rid of the radical symbol, kailangan lang natin square yung both sides na equation. So, in this case, we make sure na uh, isang radical symbol lang sa isang side. So, pag dalawa sila sa isang side, kailangan natin i-transpose yung isa. So, again, square natin yung both sides ng equation. So, this will be cancelled out, yung radical sign natin. So, yung matitira, we have 3x minus 2 is equal to x plus 7. Okay? Then, combine lang natin yung similar terms. Lahat ng may uh, variable x, ilalagay natin sa left side. Tapos, lahat naman ng constant, ilalagay natin sa right side ng equation. So, bring down natin si 3x, yung positive x. We're going to transpose this one sa left side. So, magiging negative x. Equals, bring down natin si positive 7. Si negative 2 naman, ito transpose natin sa right side ng equation. So, magiging positive 2. Then, simplify lang natin further. 3x minus x is equal to 2x. Then, we have 7 plus 2. So, 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. Then, Divide natin both sides para x na yung maiwan sa left side ng equation. The, divide both sides by 2. So, this will be cancelled out. Then, our final answer would be 9 halves or 4.5. So, x is equal to 9 halves. Now, let's have our last example. So, we have here uh, square root of x plus 2 plus 6 is equal to 0. So, same sa rule na binanggit ko kanina, kailangan natin i-isolate yung radical. Therefore, yung positive 6, kailangan natin i-transpose sa right side ng equation. So, we will have uh, the square root of x plus 2 is equal to negative 6. And this time, pwede natin siyang square both sides. Square natin both sides ng equation. This will be cancelled out. We have x plus 2 is equal to negative 6 squared that is equal to 30. 6. Okay, solve natin si x. So, x is equal to 36. Ito transpose natin si positive 2, kaya magiging negative 2. Finally, our answer is equal to 34. So, x is equal to 34. Now, let's try checking kung tama ba yung root na nakuha natin. So, let's check. If x is equal to 32, yung equation natin at uh, 34, I mean, Yung equation natin is magiging uh, square root of square root of 34 plus 2 plus 6 is equal to 0. Okay. So, square root of 34 plus 2 is simplify natin yung nasa loob magiging 36. 34 plus 2 is 36. Then, pwede natin i uh, pwede natin i-transpose si positive 6. So, magiging negative so, magiging negative 6. So, square root ng 36 is 6. And bring down natin si negative 6. Lagyan natin yung dito ng question mark. So, kung mapapansin natin sa last part, 6 is not equal to negative 6. So, not equal. Therefore, there is no solution sa binigay na radical equation. And, yung root na nakuha natin na 34 is an extraneous root. Okay? Although, nasolve natin yung x, Pero pag isa-substitute na natin siya, pabalik dun sa original equation, hindi siya magiging equal. Okay? Kasi nga, itong number 4 na radical equation has no solution. Now, let's try equation number 5. The square root of 5x plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 9. Again, kailangan natin i-isolate si radical sign. So, or yung radical part natin. Therefore, yung positive 1, kailangan natin siyang i transpose sa right side ng equation. So, magiging 5x plus 3 is equal to 9 minus 1. Okay? Simplify lang natin further. 
So, 9 minus 1 is equal to 8. So, this is the time na square natin yung both sides ng equation. So, we have 5x plus 3 is equal to 64. Transpose natin si 3 sa kabila. So, we have 64 minus 3. Then, 5x is equal to 61. Finally, divide natin both sides by 5 para x na lang yung matira. So, you have x is equal to 61 over 5. Now, let's try checking kung tama ba yung root natin na 61 over 5. So, if we're going to check, dito ko nilang ilalagay. So, we will have 5 times 61 over 5 plus 3. Then, plus 1 is equal to Nine. Check natin kung magiging equal ba yung both sides ng equation. So, dito, 5 times 61 over 5, pwede natin i-cancel out si 5. Right? So, yung matitira na lang is 61 plus 3. Plus 1 is equal to 9. Then, simplify natin that is equal to 64. Pwede natin i-transpose si positive 1. So, magiging 9 minus 1. Okay? Then, square root of 64 is 8. And, 9 minus 1 is equal to 8. So, since equal yung both sides ng equation, therefore, yung root natin na x is equal to 61 over 5 is correct. And, it is a solution of our given radical equation. So, pansinin natin yung number 4 and number 5. Yung isa, extraneous root yung nakuha natin. Yung isa naman is solution sa radical equation natin. So, kung mapapansin niyo pag pinanspose natin yung constant term, magkakaroon tayo ng negative na value. Okay? So, it is impossible na kukuha tayo ng square root ng isang missing number or isosolve natin yung square root ng isang expression, then we're going to have a negative answer. So, that is impossible. Kaya nga, yung sa number 4, wala tayong solution. But if we're going to examine number 5, pag pinanspose na natin yung mga constant term sa right side, positive pa rin yung makukuha natin, which is positive A. Kaya, yung uh, value ng x natin is a solution of this radical equation. Now it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.